OK, now 50 years ago, two teams made history as they played in the first ever All-Ireland Ladies Football Final. Little did they know that they would light the touch paper for what today is an absolute explosion in the women's game, blazing a trail for generations to come and changing Irish sport forever. And we are delighted to say we've got them back together again for one night only. Please welcome the originals and the best, the All-Ireland Ladies Football Finalists in 1974, Tipperary and Offaly! <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> they had a big panel in those days, Kitty, didn't they? They did, of course. They did. They did. Can you take us back 50 years to that day? 13th of October. Uh, yeah. We set out fine and early in the morning. And we had one intention going. It was our first Down Ireland. And it was a big honour to get to Down Ireland. And you were the captain of the I was the captain. And I was lucky enough, I had a good team. There was a good team around me. So you don't win Ireland with a bad team. You win with a good team. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, it went down to the wire. It was 2-3 two, to 2-2. Two, two. We only won by a point. And then it went on from there. Progressed clubs and counties and the whole lot. But the best part of it all was my good friend here in Cali, Agnes, presented me with the Brendan Martin Cup. Which, there, that was great. Which was brilliant. And, it was brilliant. Uh, and Agnes, you were the captain of the Offaly, Offaly team. That's great. Uh, yes, now, we look at, you know, <clears throat> the women's game today, we look at the All-Ireland final, we look at you know, 50,000 people in, uh, in Croke Park, you know, half a million people watching on the TV. A wee bit different for you guys back then. That's correct, yes. We, oh, just our family and a few neighbours and as we're known, the fateful county. So a good, well, good number turned up on the day, all right, you know, but not to that extreme. But um, we even had to, we didn't even have jerseys. We had to uh, source our jerseys uh, from the men's team, the Killavilla team, which is up near the Tipperary border. So um, we um, <laughs> had to give them back to. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that was good. They could wash them then. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were probably perfumed. <laughs> they were probably right. Uh, so, Kitty, what was the homecoming like uh, when you spread? Yeah. In a small village like Arfinan. We came over the bridge into the village, into the hall, in a tractor and trailer. <laughs> and that was it. But the village, the village was packed. And then we had a holy and we danced half the night and celebrated. And I brought home the cup then to my house. And that was it. Then I kept it for 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> and, I... and filled it every night. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and I brought my medal back the year after again. Very good. Two All Ireland medals. I mean. And... <laughs> I mean, Agnes, people's opinions of the game back then, you know, were, were completely different, weren't they? Some, some didn't even want it to be called what it was called. Oh, yeah, ladies yeah. football, ladies Gaelic football. Yeah, they, they mentioned both women's football, but you couldn't define what age, you know, bracket, because we were a young team at the time. But um, anyway, sure, ladies can play football too. <laughs> So, so, Mary, you're tucked in there beside Agnes. Your love of the GAA only was just kicking off then. You've been, you've been at it ever since. I have, yeah. Um, there was no age barriers then. Like, we were only 14, 15, 16 on the senior team. So um, it, was, uh, it, was, it was fabulous, really, like, you know. But um, we're still, still involved 50 years later, from humble beginnings to what we have now. It's fantastic. Um, we had about maybe a little over 200 in Doral. But we have 50,000, 2023, 2024. So it's, it's the fastest growing sport in Ireland and kids love it. Uh, this woman beside you here, Phyllis, you were player of the match back mm -hmm. then. I was. Yeah, <laughs> and you do know that that comes with a tradition that whenever the team gets together after 50 years, you have to buy the first round. <laughs> Is that... <laughs> I did. Oh, you, you already have, you already have, good news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, guys, thank you so, so much. Uh, you put flesh in the bones tonight. Uh, would you give it up for the Offaly and Tipperary team, everybody? There we go.